We stand before you in an awareness of who you are and what you have endured, how you have chosen to learn by agreeing to separation. It has been an agreement, yes, to know the self as separate from source, and one chosen by you collectively, acquiesced to through time, and now seen anew, because the prohibition to union has been ended. Now, what prohibition? Paul asks. How could such a thing be? When the collective endeavors to know God beyond the systems of control that have been utilized thus far as ways of knowing God, you break through the ceiling collectively. And the ceiling was created by you, again, collectively, through the denial of the divine. The denial of the divine, the only true problem humanity has ever faced, has been its own creation. But it has been so real, and continues to be so real for many of you, that you reinforce it by your agreement to it. The choice is here now, through the collective, with the collective, to claim autonomy from the prior systems of deceit and self-deceit. What systems are these? he asks. Your acquiescence to the idea of fear as legacy and as productive to one's needs. The idea that fear is your vocation, you are here to learn fear or through fear, is no longer available. The species has agreed to move beyond a limited sense of agreement to a lower strata creation. Now, fear is of God, yes, because all things must be of God. Nothing can be left out. But fear denies God, believes itself to be separate, and creates its own landscape, its own ideology, its own way of getting its needs met, which is replication. The idea of replication and fear as an anchor tethered to the lower realm seeking to replicate is a helpful ideology for you to understand, because the moment you understand it, you can stop being participatory to it. The new agreement is made. We may learn our lessons beyond agreement to fear. We do not need fear as our teacher to grow we may learn in higher ways. The triumph of the divine over fear is not what you would imagine. The true sense of self, the one who knows who she is, what he is, and how he serves, has already risen above fear, and rearticulation, resurrection or embodiment, manifestation as the monad, aligns you beyond fear. It simply does not express at the level of vibration you are coming to. But your acknowledgement of fear, that it is present, you have learned through it, have been taught hard lessons by it, is also useful. You are never pretending in these teachings. You are moving beyond things with an awareness of what you have endured and what you have learned through. We are not pretending to know you as you are. In fact, we know you as you are because what you are is as we are, the only difference being that our acceleration of vibration, our triumphant resurrection, has been claimed in order to support you in your own. We stand beside you, yes. We walk with you, yes. And we say this to you each step you take. You have come, you have come, you have come. And the arrival to this landscape, the upper room, if you wish, an enormous transition for an individual and an enormous transition for a collective is celebrated but celebrated with caution. 
Thank you for listening to this clip provided to you by Macmillan Audio. To hear more, look for this title wherever audiobooks are sold.